Hillary was beautiful. She was loved. She was kind. But she still had her struggles, and she discovered heroin in it. And I thought she had beaten it. And then, you know, for two and a half years, it looked as if she had. And then it took her life. My name is Stacy Hannes, and I am Hillary's aunt and Lily's aunt. I'm Lily Rowe. I'm 16 years old. We're about nine years apart in age, so she's a lot older than me. And we'd always do like our nails together and stuff, and she'd always help me with my Spanish homework because she was the only one in my house that actually kind of understood Spanish. Before she kind of did like alcohol, marijuana, and then she moved up to heroin. She'd be a little bit more like sad and like tired when she was using, and like she just wouldn't be her normal self. Like sometimes, you know, you didn't know what was normal teenage girl, and what was. I, I mean, I'm using drugs. I didn't, that didn't come to mind for me until my sister called me and told me and said that she had walked into Hillary's bedroom and discovered that she was using heroin. I remember, I remember falling on the floor, <laughs> just losing myself because I loved her so much. <laughs> but then everybody just came together and quickly she was in treatment and you know, for a long time things were great, um, but she was in school at MATC and she had gotten her CNA. She was clean for two years before she overdosed. I got the phone call when they got home and found her. Yeah, it was hard. In your mind, you know an addict, every day is probably a challenge for an addict, it has to be. But she had done so well and she was back and we, we knew she wasn't that angsty teenager anymore, that she was a grown-up, she was 22. and. She was in love and everything just seemed like it was falling into place for her and I really thought that she was gonna be okay. And then my sister called and our whole world just collapsed. None of us really thought that was what happened until we got the autopsy back and it was a really a big surprise for all of us. It was one of the first times she used again and she kept her like so much as it when she did before that she wasn't like used to it, so it killed her when she did it. I didn't realize it was something that she'd be struggling with her entire life, and I was mad at first. I mean, I thought, you know, I was like, why did she do that to us? But as time went on, I understood that she didn't want to die. She, she wanted to stop. She didn't want to be a heroin addict. It just it kept pulling her, and she tried her hardest. My mom started a company called Hill Against Heroin, and what we do is we make headbands and we sell them, and kind of the main point right now is just to spread awareness and to end the stigma associated with heroin addiction to just kind of show like anyone can be an addict and we just want to get something meaningful out of her death because she was so important to us and we don't want this to happen to so many more families. Yes.